In two weeks, families will be gathered around the dinner table for Thanksgiving, but for some families, chairs will be empty due to gun violence. One family is using their trauma to help others. News 2's Callista Matrician joins us with how they're stepping in to help. My mother called me about 3.30 a.m. Thanksgiving morning to tell me that my brother had just been murdered. On Saturday, Jonathan Thomas stood in an apartment complex off of Gayosa Street, where his 33-year-old brother, Justin Henry, was murdered on Thanksgiving of last year. Thanksgiving is supposed to be a time of happiness and joy and family, um, but, you know, Thanksgiving for us will never be the same. Another part of this case makes it especially difficult for Henry's family. Just feet away from Justin Henry's sister's apartment, that security camera. Except there was one problem with that security camera on the morning of Henry's death. It wasn't working. In fact, Thomas says it still isn't. A number of open endeds has left him with heavy emotions. Disbelief, confusion, anger, frustration. A feeling that he shares with Sharon Todd Dundee. Her son, Robert Dundee, was murdered on May 3rd of this year. His killer still on the loose. It's put Todd Dundee in a position she never imagined. I never thought. That I will be there. The pain, the wounds. Today, a glimpse of relief has hit her after Henry's family came to show support. Today's a blessing. Turning tragedy into triumph, Thomas and his family are supporting others affected by gun violence. Delivering boxes of food to several who need the help, but that support is more than just a Thanksgiving dinner. We, we share the same grief, you know, two sit different situations, but. We lost somebody to gun violence. Problems with gun violence don't seem to be getting any better. Jane Wood works for the East Baton Rouge Crime Victims Unit. She says the number of shootings have um, increased. According to the Baton Rouge Police Department, this time last year there had been 20 more homicides than this year. In 2022, there's been 82 unconfirmed murders around Baton Rouge. Only 53% have been solved. I think it starts with community. You know, people have to not be afraid to speak out and step forward when they see something. In Baton Rouge, Callista Matrician, WBRZ News 2.